Mohammed is 15 years old and is learning how to become a tailor. But he's not at college or school. He's in this newly built juvenile centre for his involvement with insurgent activity. After a land dispute in his village, he was recruited by the Taliban. For his crimes, he has served one out of his two-year sentence. But as well as punishment, this centre is concentrating on rehabilitation, teaching the young men skills they can take into the outside world to prevent them from turning back to crime. We all feel very lucky to have these better facilities and now I'm learning about my future. I want to be a tailor. I know I can make money from it and be a better person. In the old building there wasn't enough space for the boys, but now it's great. The boys are very enthusiastic and they're learning quickly. This new centre is a world away from the deplorable conditions that were here in 2010, when 50 boys shed two mud cells. Phil Robinson, a former UK prison officer, has been working on improving the conditions since then. What I'll do is I'll show you one of the, the cells. Meet international standards. We have sufficient foot space for all the boys. We can comfortably house six in each of the cells and we have a capacity throughout the whole facility of 120. What we have is uh, one of the classrooms. We've got three, seven, eleven students in and the teacher. This will be a literature class. Uh, because we've only been open for three days, they're still in the process of organising. So what the teacher's been doing this morning is discussing with the kids what the future will be, what the syllabus will be, uh, and these will be the children that will be attending this particular class. OK, and what we have over here is a second classroom. The kids are currently doing religious studies. And we have to bear in mind, this is probably the first time some of these kids have the opportunity to learn. There is a desire, there is a passion. Uh, they're like sponges. And all this can do is give us hope for the future, hope for these children, uh, that they'll be able to give something back to the community. Without a doubt, this is an impressive facility with sports and classes for the young men here. But at the end of the day, they are prisoners. And some may ask if they really deserve and need a centre like this. At the official handover of the centre, the Helmand MP, the new Helmand Provincial Governor and the Minister of Justice from Kabul attended the ceremony, along with council members and commanders. This UK-funded project has cost just under £600,000, but can the current standards that they have here be sustained? The director of the centre believes they can. As ISAF troops and the PRT team leave, I'm confident that this centre will continue to work well. We have everything we need, we're well equipped and we have the staff to keep the standards high. It's taken a lot of money, management and resources to get to this stage. But if spending the time rehabilitating these boys can prevent them from rejoining the insurgency and in turn save an ISAF life, then it's got to be worth it.